What's up guys? <laughs> Sitting on the floor again. But our sofa is coming soon. <clears throat> it's coming on the 28th. Really? Yeah. <gasps> What's the date? Oh, what we'll have to do next week is put our chairs next to each other and do it like that. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to get straight into the question. And this is quite a funny one because of the title. But we will see. Tell them the title. The title is Crush on a YouTuber. Ooh. Hello, Dina and also Sid. <laughs> Somehow I have convinced myself to write this email. Well, you shouldn't have. Hear me out. You can't, I know, you can't tell if you're joking or not, you know. I'm joking, by the way. <laughs> Hear me out. I, I know this sounds, I know this sounds so silly and childish, but it's a real thing. I am a 20 year old female Muslim and I have a real crush on a YouTuber. No, no, I'm not a fan girl. Yes, you are. Yes, As you I've are. always found those people quite silly and irrational. I'm not the type of person who obsesses over a well known figure. Yes, you, you, you do. <laughs> I do. I, I do, clearly do. I do like and appreciate them as artists and people in general. I do not feel an attachment to them, whether it being a character or them on their personal life. Oh. However, this person, I just love them as a whole. I can see his transparency. He is a Muslim YouTuber, overall a blogger and fashion designer. I think I know who you're he talking about. He is a Muslim YouTuber. Wait, he is a I'm Muslim YouTuber. Overall blogger and fashion designer. There's only one of those. I've tried not to let this person be any different as any other artist I admire and appreciate, but I couldn't. This is different. It's not that I'm not interested in what they do. In fact, I love his works and his style, but all of that is normal. The thing that makes this admiration different from the rest is that I love the person they are. What he stands for, his ideas and his vision, his morals, his kindness and transparency, I can go on and on. <laughs> I'm not a fan girl. Uh, I see this person, I have a curious curiosity. I want to know them in person, I want to talk to them for hours. He has a beautiful mind and I want to get... Wow. <laughs> and I want to get to know him. I want us to be life partner friends. <laughs> life partner? I've never heard of that one. <laughs> I haven't heard of any of this. <laughs> but all this seems so impossible as, as I'm on the other half of the world and he literally doesn't even know I exist. The only hope I have is we are meant to be by the grace of Allah, we will be. I thought I would write to you guys so that maybe, just maybe, he will see this email. I would really appreciate, appreciate your advice to me. Please know this is not childish fangirl type of thing. I hope I don't come across as one. Love you guys, you always make me stupidly smile at my screen. Oh, oh it is him. It is who we thought. Yeah. Okay, she put it in who the bottom, it is who we and, thought. And, uh, <laughs> drum okay. roll please. Please. Hold on, while we're drum rolling, guess in the comments, see if you're Guess right. in the comments, yeah. I uh, guarantee you everybody knows who it is. It is. Blah. Subhita! <laughs> also known, or previously known as Subi tube. Yeah. Okay, so we we actually we've never met Subi, but we know him quite well. Well, well no, don't we don't know, know him, him well. We don't know him, but we know his online stuff very yeah. well, and we I'm a fan. Sid's a fan. Yeah. He's a very funny guy, also a very smart guy, yeah. and recently turned fashion designer. Yeah. Or not recently turned, but recently just launched. And fashion. his line was pretty pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I, I, did you know what Subi? I bought a piece from your line, yeah. but I forgot to collect it, and they sent it back to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so don't worry about it. Just, just it's all right. Don't worry. If you want to send it out again, go ahead. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> so, um, this is really funny because in the beginning of the email, you really did sound like a fangirl in denial. You, you are a fangirl. No, but then towards the end, I was actually convinced that okay, so. She, what she means when she says she's not a fangirl is she's not like, oh, oh my god, like she genuinely appreciates him and his character and she, like she takes him, do you know what I mean? Oh, she, I know. That's no, no, okay, means. you're not a fangirl, you are in love. obsessed and in love. You are in love. You're in love. But what I would just like to uh, say, the first thing that came to my mind is the part in, in the email where you said, you know, you're not fangirl, but you just really love his character, his morals and everything. You feel like you really know him and things like that. I just want to put this out there. You definitely do not know him, not even a tiny little bit. And that is because everybody who's on the internet, us included. We pick and choose what we, we want to put out there. At the end there. of the day, everything 
and I feel like Subhi is, is very real with everything that he puts out there. But it doesn't matter if even if all of your content is very real and raw, it's impossible to just put yourself out there 24 seven. So everybody who thinks that they know us or yeah. they know Subhi 100% and they know everything about him, you don't. You, don't. you literally know this tiny little little. I mean, little, we we try him. we we don't put any filter on anything. Yeah, literally. We, yeah. But you still you still don't know us. Don't know you about no. this much. No, like you maybe twenty yeah, percent. You literally. But, but I just want to put that out there to make it clear to you that although you feel like you know him 100%, you really don't. Yeah. Uh, no, that's, and I think that, that's he would not, probably that's, agree. Yeah, of course he would agree. Really, really? Yeah, how could you not agree with that? Because yeah, every everybody YouTuber. picks and chooses what they want to put online. Yeah, no, but I mean, but for example, okay, picks and chooses, but loads of people like to put the... Majority of bloggers put just the good, but a lot of people like to put the bad and the good to show people the reality. But the, the, right? the, the problem but is... the point what, is, even if you show the good and the bad, it doesn't mean that no, you, can't you show, guys still know us. Trust me, no YouTuber, no social media person puts the bad out there. And I mean the bad. Yeah, yeah. See, they can put the bad out there, but, but nobody it's not really ever the bad. actually puts out like the bad, bad, bad. I, I have an anger problem. I have anger issues. And you would never see, like, you would see that a little bit. It gets bad sometimes. You guys, that's why, and I, I really, really hate it when people are, comment on our stuff and they're always like, oh, you guys are couple goals, relationship goals. And I'm just literally thinking, literally like 10 minutes ago, we just had the worst argument yeah. ever. Overall, in general, Sid is great. He is a great husband. He is a great dad. He is all mm -hmm. those things. But there's also the side where he's fucking shit. <laughs> yeah? That you guys don't no, see. No, wait, and you will wait, never wait, see. wait. But there's two sides to the story. You're fucking shit too. <laughs> yeah, obviously. But I'm not as fucking shit as you. No, no, no. You're no, no, way no, more you're fucking. fucking no, you're fucking No, you're way fucking shit. You're way worse. You're way shit. The problem is, right, is that it's, it's different because this has gone off topic, but I just want to say this. No, no, she needs to understand this. I express myself in a different way. I, as a man, Violence. that I have, I have Violence no. Well I physically express myself, and that's how I've always done it, because which is which is, which is you, bad. It's not. It's not you good. You need to learn to control. Listen, listen. Look, he shoved me. Yo, back off. He shoved me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't. I didn't have. I had a pretty violent upbringing. No, I'm not saying from my parents. Just like school. In school, it was very violent. Sid was always in fights and like all the time. I never learned. I only learned to use my mouth like the last two years of high school. Do you know the last year? The last year maybe. Not even that. After high school. I don't even know. But if anybody would say anything to me, it was a fight. It was basically a fight. It Whereas a fight. me, growing up, I was taught... Never, never get into it physically. To, no, not even that. I was just taught how to like sort out a situation or like if I ever was in that situation... With your words. To give it back yeah. with all of this. So I'd get really witty yeah. on people or like have good comebacks, things like that. Yeah. I've never once in my life been in a physical fight. And that's Thank great. Thank God, I never want to be in one because bloody hell, that's my worst nightmare, basically. And that's Let's great. Let's put it that way. And I've been in more than I've got fingers and toes, basically. More than 20 times? Way more. Well, this is going so off topic right now. Let me now. see that. What's up? We've been blabbing on for Come 15 on, minutes. We on. haven't made a fucking point. Come on, we're going to make the point. The, the main point is going to be a very simple one. Realistically, this is not going to happen. Realistically, anything could happen, really. But, then but you the thing know. is, imagine do you know what? Happened. Could you imagine how many emails he gets like this? As far as we know, he's single. As far as the world, I don't know. Honestly, we have no idea. Th that's what I'm saying. As far as we know, he's yeah. single. And uh, he probably gets a thousand of these emails. The thing is, there's probably and a thousand girls that feel like you. And let me tell you something, 90% of his audience are females. How do you know? You just have to look at his comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, you know, it's the same with me, but it's different. We're married. So, <laughs> his audience, majority are females. Yeah. So... Uh, so, basically, what Sid's trying to say is you've got no chance in hell. You've got a chance, but the thing is, you need to reach out to him. I think that's what she's trying to do with this video. Subhi, brother... If you're watching, you want to get married. Or get you want to get married from the. You want to get married from a Sid and Dina advice with you. Yes, you and uh, let me know. We'll reply to the email. We we'll say what country you're from. That's probably going to be the deal breaker, whichever country she's from, right? So, what country you're from? We want to get married. 
You want to make like a meeting? Make like a meeting? Make like a meeting? You yeah. alternatively, you could go on Minder. Minder like a swipe right. Is Minder an actual thing? Like is, a Minder. Or is it just a term? I don't thing? know, I've heard this a thousand times. I've uh, heard Minder a thousand appara times. Apparently there's Tinder, but Muslim version is called Minder. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> we should check. Check if there's a Minder. Check if there's a Minder. It's a thing. There's a Minder. I had no idea, man. But does it say Muslim dating site? Yep. No, it doesn't. It does. Single Muslims to me. Oh my God. Then there's Muzmatch. Muzmatch. The single Muslim as me. And then there's... Muslim only. And then there's I'm Muslima. Single Muslims. Buzz Muslim. What the bloody oh, heck? so many. If this was to happen, wow, I mean, that would be once... I mean, that would be... You'd have us to thank for that. Yeah. But, um... The best way to go about it is, right, you go to the outlet, when you contact him, right, go to the outlet he's got uh, the least sort Amount. of messages on or whatever, whether it's Facebook... The least following on. Whether it's email, right, whether you want to make an order on his website and put in the notes. Yo, contact me, here's the digits, bro. <laughs> or you want to put in an order on his website and then act like... It never came, and you've got this mega ongoing customer service issue. Yes! So the contacts is like happening for ages. Yeah. Maybe something like that. Yeah. And you'd be like, the only thing where you can reimburse me now is pay me a bloody visit. <laughs> Put a ring on my finger. And if you're halfway across the world, though, that's, that's pretty difficult. So you're going to have to move to uh, Texas. He is lives he, in Austin, in, Texas, right? You'll have to move to America, which is yeah. looking highly unlikely. Yeah, so you right you're going to get stopped. And then but you're going to get deported UK, if you're in one you're of the, the seven UK, countries. Though, so um, what we could do in the meantime is uh, tweet this video out to Subhi. Yeah. And, um, you know, if <laughs> this he... This is going to be hilarious. If, he, if Subhi is, you know, does have somebody right now... Are we really hooking this up? No, hold on a minute. The only thing I want to say, though, is if Subhi has somebody right now and he's engaged maybe or anything and he just hasn't announced it because we literally have no idea, then we apologise in advance to that partner of his that we are not aware of. We're just Because if that was me, I'd be fucking fuming. If Subhi sees this video and he decides to, you know what, get me this girl's details and I will talk the to her. Then, then we will pass we on We will email. pass on your email to Sophie and you will hear from him. If he's if like, no thanks, mate, yeah, which, then you won't hear Which, can anything. I just say, is highly likely. It's highly likely. Probably not in such a abrupt way. He'll probably just be like, oh, you know, I'm kind of like, mm, don't really want to do that because it's a little bit weird. I know why she likes Sophie. He looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. <gasps> yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal, yeah. Nightcrawler, huh? What are the movies is there? I The boxing one? Southpaw, huh? Jack Dylan or Southpaw, huh? Is that what you're going for? Hmm, okay. <laughs> Guys, it's really good to have dreams, but the <laughs> thing dreams. is, try and make them realistic. I would highly advise to the, to the girls out there that think they're going to marry a YouTuber, be with a YouTuber, a, 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 a well-known one, and he doesn't know jack shit about you, just leave it. Just, leave it just... and vice versa if you're a man and you're trying to get with a very you know and sh she's a really big youtuber or very well known just leave it anyways this is going on a bit too long that's a bit um pointless well basically sid and dino have turned into flipping muslimmatchmaking.com yeah we should make a name oh come on think of one on the spot is it taking you that long yeah what about you Oh, I can't think of a good yeah, one. Yeah, me neither.